Emmy and Golden Globe winner Jim Parsons is most recognized for his work on the Big Bang Theory, but now you can see him on the big screen in the new movie Hidden Figures. He plays Paul Stafford, a lead engineer working for NASA during the heat of the space race and the civil rights movement. And while he's deeply invested in his work, he struggles to join the quest for equal rights. Colonel Glenn launches in a few weeks. We don't have the man figured out yet. Why is it she can't attend? Because she doesn't have clearance, Al. I cannot do my work effectively if I do not have all of the data and all of the information as soon as it's available. I need to be in that room hearing what you hear. Pentagon briefings are not for civilians. It requires the highest clearance. I feel like I'm the best person to present my calculations. You're not let this go, are you? No, I am not. You, and, and she is a woman. There is no protocol for a woman Okay, I get meetings. that part, Paul. Jim, good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Thank you for having me. If I were the casting director of this movie, uh -huh. I would say, okay, well, obviously we're going to cast Jim Parsons as one of the engineers, and then who are we going to cast after that? You're perfect oh, for this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Did you feel that way when you saw the script? Um, well, when I first read the script, I was, well, I was first shocked that I had never heard this story before and that I didn't know who these three women were, and so I went to Wikipedia. But then I, it took me a few reads to kind of accept the part of my part that was a little difficult, which was I'm kind of a pain in the butt to Taraji, and that puts a, a kind spin on it. Yeah, Paul I, Stafford's I, hard to like. He's he's represents uh, uh, the personification of some major hurdles and some attitudes of the time, and um, and uh, and but once I accepted that and and. It was a real joy to get to go there and fight with Taraji and to just be involved in it. It was, it was it's been an honor. Going back to, to the, the casting part of this for a second, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with the space program. You were. And so I watched all the documentaries. I read all the articles on it. And when I saw you in your suit yeah. with that look, you just looked like every one of those clean cut conservative engineers it's that I that remember I from NASA. Look like it because I certainly don't think like it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's thank God for a costumer. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, did you have a period of your life when you were younger where you were kind of the space phase? Obviously, you're much younger well, than I am. I grew up in Houston and so we were we felt it was a part of our lives in that way, um, and I did, like you, watched every launch on TV. Um, but no, I never thought I wanted to be an astronaut. I mean, I think part of it is uh, it really does require a level of bravery or, or at least blinders on about something to, to risk doing something like that. I would imagine there's a little bit of checking an ego at the door when you make a movie like this because you're out there with people like Kevin Costner and you're an award winner and Octavia Spencer. Yeah. What was it like? Um, heaven. It really was. And because this was one of those projects, and I've been lucky enough to be involved in a couple of them, Normal Heart was another one, where everyone bought into this story and wanted so badly to tell it correctly and entertainingly that um, it was truly all in the service of the story, and you felt that from everyone. So if this was a great ensemble. Let's talk about your other great ensemble, yes. the cast of Big Bang Theory. Um, are you guys coming back? To that other network? I'm certainly not legalized to make any pr proclamations. That being said, I, I suspect so. Yeah. I intend on it, yes. Because in our control, room, they're all going, it. please don't come back. Please don't come back. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. But, no, you, um, but you, will, you think everybody will be there? I certainly hope so. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, there's a couple of things. Number one, it's, a, it's been such a fortunate joy ride to get to do something that so many people watch and are entertained by. But we are staffed with some of the best writers who remain so invested in this. And, you know, I could see how certain things a decade in like we are could become a real slog at times, at least artistically speaking. Because of the way they write these stories, it is... It is truly a joy every week to be there. I kid about the competitive thing because when a show is great, we all are fans of it. Yeah, and, and it's, it's a great true. Show. It's true. You're right. Well, thank you. But you're right. It's fun to watch anything good. Yeah, Jim, congratulations. Thank you very Always much. Always nice to see nice you. Nice to see you too. Tell people that Hidden Figures is in select theaters on Christmas Day, and then it goes nationwide on January sixth. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.